Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Metzler ME 880 Marathon. What Biker TV rides on. The Dealey Motorcycle Exhibition, Vancouver, BC. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, the weekly race report with Jordan Zoe. The 2011 National Hog Rally in Kamloops, BC. But first, we're back at the Trev Dealey Motorcycle Exhibition with Terry Ray. Now we're getting into the race section here. I would have to say that uh, all racing, whether it was cars or motorcycles, uh, began when the first two uh, motorcycle riders or the first two car drivers met up with each other, the race would be on. Uh, this first bike, the black one, is a 1926 Dirt Tracker. When you look at these bikes, uh, it's really impressive when you understand that these guys are driving these bikes at nearly 100 miles an hour and look closely at the front and rear, you'll see there's no brakes. They would go around the corners and they slid the speed off by putting their foot down and throwing the bike in a, in a long slide. Now a dirt track, what he would have been on a, uh, on a horse track, and they could be anywhere from a short track, quarter mile up to a mile track. And of course, the, uh, the bigger the track, the faster you went. Now there was another style of racing and it was called board track and they actually built velodromes out of wood and these would be a lot of uh, like two by fours on their sides and the banking on these tracks would be so steep that in order to make track repairs you'd have to be on a ladder in order to see you couldn't stand on the tracks. One of the types of racing that actually become uh, so popular today is the road racing and this would have been done with, with fairings and lots of streamlining on the bikes. And the bike we have here today is uh, the VR1000, which is an offshoot of the uh, Nova project, which, which, which we'll see a little later. But it's also the beginning of the V-Rod that's sold on the showroom floor today. Now this particular bike here was ridden by Miguel Duhamel at Daytona Beach. Now we get into the uh, Class C dirt track racing, which allowed uh, people to buy uh, bikes off the showroom floor and convert them to uh, race bikes. And dirt track racing was extremely popular at this time in both Harley and Indians, where they competed regularly against each other. Now the number 22 over here, that's the WR, that was Trev's personal bike. Now he won 22 races in a row on this particular bike. And it was one of his favorites. He called it the Black Beauty. And as you walk in the front door uh, to come up here, you'll notice a picture on the wall and it's Trev riding this particular bike. Pretty well the final uh, configuration of dirt track bikes by Harley Davidson. And extremely good looking bike and you'll notice the number one plate. Uh, I believe that this one was actually owned by Steve Beatty, who was number one for Canada. So now we get into the hill climbing. We got two fine examples here, a 1929 and a 1930. And what's so unique about these bikes is they actually competed against each other. And Trev rode the Harleys and the, uh, the Bush brothers rode the uh, Indian. Now uh, the Bush brothers were from Vancouver and the, the son of one of them, Rod Bush, has restored the Indian and uh, I was able to get him to loan it to us to put it on display alongside Harley's, uh, uh, Trev's Hardy Davidson. And that's a unique story to get two bikes like this that had at one time uh, had competed against each other.
After the break, the weekly race report with Jordan Zope. facility for motorcycle mechanics in Canada. The course here is amazing. The teachers are amazing. This is where it's at. Dragon Jeans. What biker TV rides in. Trucker Television. Canada's hottest new show. My grandpa's a trucker. He helps beat kids like me. Canada's hottest new show, Trucker Television. Choose one of our existing audio kits or design your own at Pogtunes.com. Pogtunes, audio solutions for the great American cruiser. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. We have parts, accessories, and lots more for all makes of cruisers, V-Twin, and Metric. Canada's largest selection of helmets and clothing. Shop our website, shop by phone, or visit any one of our huge superstores. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Special thanks to... Royal Distributing, clothing, parts, and accessories. Toad Cycle Works, doing it right since 1979. G Bork, give us a call. Trucker Television, celebrating life on the road. Advanced Screen Printing, t-shirts and a whole lot more. The Biker TV, National Show and Shine. West, Sturgis North. East, Thunder in the Highlands. Central, The Bikers Reunion. The Biker TV, National Show and Shine. Closed captioning by Hog Tunes. Audio solutions for the great American cruiser. doesn't lie. Going 200 miles an hour around a track and then having to break and make a corner, it's very, very exciting. I'm Jordan Zoke and time for your weekly race report on Biker TV. Today we're talking about motocross. All of you know me from superbike racing, but I'm gonna tell you about all the motocross riding that I've done over my career to make me a better superbike racer. And we're gonna to touch base on some of the motocross stars here in Canada and uh, all those heroes that we all wish we could be. Obviously, you can't ride a superbike all the time. I spend a lot of time training I have my motocross track in my friends' houses and riding in the gravel pits and just trail riding, doing all that on my motocross bike. And it's really helped me. Every time I get into a situation on the road race track, it never feels out of place. I'm like, oh, I've experienced this before. And my motocross bike is just me. And it, it really gives me a lot of uh, advantage over the other riders. And you'll see, you see now more and more athletes in the motorsports cross-training with different aspects of motorcycling and it really makes you a better well-rounded rider. Blackfoot, biggest name in Canada in motorcycle racing and motocross over the past decade. 
all the championships, all my heroes with Blair Morgan and Waugh and all the riders they've had, uh, Dusty Klatt, Fulton Fasciotti, all that. Big changes there. Blackfoot boys uh, focusing on their shop. Obviously a sign of the troubled times in the economy, not doing the racing anymore and uh, you know, passing it on to the next guy to uh, hopefully follow in their footsteps. They've, they've created a huge, huge atmosphere in Canada, brought motocross to the next level. Good news for those riders on his, and the crew on the, that team. They've all landed on their feet. Uh, KTM stepping up their program. You know, they're really uh, picking up the pieces and uh, they brought a brand new 450 motocross throughout this year and in the U.S. already having great results with it. And they have Fasciati and Klatt and Medagula, the, the MX2 champion, all on their team. It's going to be a phenomenal year for them and uh, keeping motocross racing alive. It's going to be very exciting. Our top three from last year, Colton Fasciati, Dusty Klatt, and Teddy Mayer were our past champions, one, two, and three. Obviously, Colton and Dusty riding for the Yamaha team. Now they're both over on the KTM team, hoping to continue their success. And uh, what a great team that's going to be. Uh, all the sponsors and crew and, and riders have transferred over from the Blackfoot team. And then uh, I think it opens the door also for the other uh, guys. Blackfoot had such a stranglehold on the series, and now it's going to bring all the other teams and riders a little bit closer to being the champion as well. In MX2, we have Tyler Medega, uh, Kevin Benoit, and Austin Pulitelli, one, two, and three. Tyler obviously riding for the Blackfoot team. And I think, like I said, it's going to open the door now that that team's gone. And uh, it's going to be even better racing than before. Everybody needs to get out there and check it out. It's going to be an extremely exciting year. I know there's been a little bit of, you know, everybody's a little down in the dumps a little bit, but Yamaha and Blackfoot pulling out. But these guys are still going to be out there racing, and it's going to be closer than ever. It's, it's turning more to the privateer. And uh, I don't think it's good for the fans as much. The fans really want the whole experience of seeing these great rigs pull in with the teams, the professionalism. It really gives them something to strive for. It gives something for the kids, the young riders to strive for. But on the other side, it's going to make the racing closer because everybody's going to be more competitive on the whole. And uh, I, I, it's, uh, time will tell. But I know the racing will be good, and I encourage all the fans to keep coming out and watch their favorite racers. Stick around. When we come back, we're riding around Kamloops at the National Hog Rally. Special thanks to... Royal Distributing, clothing, parts, and accessories. Hip Cycle, expert Harley-Davidson service. Hog Haulers, don't leave home without your chrome. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Dino Tunes, Motorcycle Tuning Center. Trucker Television, Canada's hottest new show. My grandpa's a trucker. He helps feed kids like me. Canada's hottest new show, Trucker Television. Advanced Welding Techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Choose one of our existing audio kits or design your own at hogtunes.com. Hogtunes, audio solutions for the great American cruiser.
Special thanks to Royal Distributing, clothing, parts, and accessories. New Moon Tattoo, professional tattooing for over 25 years. The Ottawa Mission, more than a shelter. Chelsea Chimney Sweeps, sales, service, and installation. Road Dog Asphalt, honest, reliable service. The setting of this uh, event is Kamloops. We've chosen a another location which just offers a beautiful backdrop setting and beautiful riding routes. It's a great, great rally, great rides going on, and just excited about the whole thing. You can stop with the drumming you and vote now, little old me. Yeah, this is my uh, second event at the Harley uh, Hog Group. It's really great. It's a really good bunch of people, and it's a good family event, a good social event, and it's just, I love it. You want to tell me? I can smell. Is this your first hog rally? No, it's my second. We arrived uh, Thursday. We stayed over in Cash Creek on Wednesday. We came up from Victoria. My wife rode out on her 09 Street Glide. And how long have you been riding for? About four years. Four years? Yeah, started out small, moved up to a sporty, and then onto the Street and Glide. The street glide. You got it, it's awesome. I'm the treasurer of X Director. Okay, so yeah. tell me about your chapter. Well, we've got about 240 members, and we hold an annual poker run on the first week in June. You're my girl and I'm your man. We'll be king to the land. Oh, you're from New Zealand? From New Zealand, you... yeah. Not everybody shipped their bike from New Zealand. No. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you very unique. So I hear you've been riding for a long time. Oh uh, yeah, a total of about 17, 18 years as well. Yeah. You want to tell me a little bit about your bike? Uh, yes, a 2007 Harley Davidson. It's the Street Bob. It's the uh, Dynaglide, which has got the six-speed, 96 cubic inch engine, and uh, it's out of stock right now. And the sidecar we added two years ago, and that is imported from India. <laughs> and that's for Joan. That's for Joan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we put on the, uh, the bumpers and the. We had the lighting changed and the windshield we put on. So we, yeah. And it's, it runs really nice, it's quite fast. We can't corner as fast as we'd like to, but that will improve with time. Where are you from? Originally Holland, but I live in Canada nowadays. Is this your first hog rally? No, 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 no. I, I've uh, attended many. Many, huh? So tell me about your shoes. Well, they're uh, old style Dutch shoes. The farmers used to wear them. It took us five and a half days to ride from Guelph all the way to Kamloops. Through all the, we went through Michigan and through the states, North Dakota and Montana, Washington, and here. I'm Paul Poole from the PI chapter in uh, Prince Edward Island. Are you enjoying yourself here today? Beautiful. Great weather, great riding. Uh, we did about 8,000 kilometers to get here over two weeks, and we're going to drive back across the U.S. Uh, for the next nine days. Are you saying for the uh, banquet and stuff tonight? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. What kind of bike are you guys riding? Uh, we've got an 06 uh, Road Glide with uh, 120,000 clicks on it, so we ride it a lot. Uh, we got about 120 members. Our uh, sponsoring dealerships Red Rock, Harley Davidson, and Charlottetown. Great group of guys there. They look after you well. So I came back. A big hand, because we're still the best dance band on the side of Holy Land. So, what we've done this year is kept you know some of the 
um, activities that we know our HOG members really, really enjoy, and that includes uh, Biker Bingo, which is a, a repeated success, um, a show and shine, which they just love because that allows them to show off, you know, their, their customized bikes and, you know, the different jobs and works that they've done to them, as well as then um, biker games and, uh, and of course, the usual annual parades. I'm the uh, fleet sales manager for police, fire, military, and rider training. And what is that? Uh, all the uh, police bikes in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, they deal, uh, mo most police departments in Canada actually ride Harleys, and I'm their rep, plus uh, we run the uh, police training out of uh, Ontario Police College. Okay. Yeah. And is this uh, your first hog rally? Oh no, this is my 10th. Your 10th? Oh yeah. And this is the 16th annual, so yeah. you're a veteran. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I've been around a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Tonight's the banquet, uh, awards presentation, and a uh, big party after. It's gonna be a lot of fun. What kind of bike do you ride? I ride a police bike. Okay. <laughs> Eyes black as cold. Couldn't shake off that woman. This evening is our final closing ceremony, so it's uh, with a little bit of sadness every year that we have this event because it's, uh, you know, it's a thank you to all. She said, I can't see what you ain't seen. So we all are already obviously planning for next year's event. We ch try to really change it up in terms of location every year. Yeah. But Do you uh, have any idea where you might have it next year? Ooh, well, let's say it's a little bit further east than here. This is all I can give away for now. Stay tuned. After the break, the 2011 National Hog Rally Parade. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. We have parts, accessories, and lots more for all makes of cruisers, V-Twin, and metric. Canada's largest selection of helmets and clothing. Shop our website. Shop by phone or visit any one of our huge superstores. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Special thanks to Royal Distributing, clothing, parts, and accessories. Askicker Custom Cycles, parts, sales, service. McNeeny and McNeeny, legal services for accident victims. Be Calm, fighting for bikers' rights. Chrome Dreams. It's the number one uh, training facility for motorcycle mechanics in Canada. The course here is amazing, the teachers are amazing. This is where it's at. Dragon Jeans, what biker TV rides in. Trucker Television, Canada's hottest new show. My grandpa's a trucker. He helps feed kids like me. Canada's hottest new show, Trucker Television. Choose one of our existing audio kits or design your own at hogtunes.com. Hogtunes, audio solutions for the great American cruiser. Special thanks to Royal Distributing, clothing, parts, and accessories. Hip Cycle, expert Harley-Davidson service. Hog Haulers, 
Don't leave home without your chrome. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Dino Tunes, Motorcycle Tuning Center. The Biker TV, National Show and Shine. West, Sturgis North. East, Thunder in the Highlands. Central, The Biker's Reunion. The Biker TV, National Show and Shine. And we've gone back to sidecar ride, riding as we're older, but we did it when we first got married. And we're aiming to go far. We'll be kings of it all with the rock and roll band. I said I know. So we enjoy this, and this is like being in a sports car. Yeah, um, you know, it's comfortable. It's so comfortable, much better than being on the back. Yes. Well, Camelot's Hog Chapter started uh, 24 years ago, roughly, and uh, we actually started off uh, with our own Camelot's Chapter poker run that we've been running for about 23 years. It's the most successful one in Canada. It's the largest fundraiser in Canada, mm -hmm. so we're pretty proud of that. Uh, we've raised uh, over three quarters of a million dollars for muscular dystrophy, mm -hmm. and that's our Very big glad. main charity, and then we have uh, Oh, 20 or 30 other minor charities around Kamloops that we contribute to all the time on a steady basis. So that's basically we just ride play and if the money's left over we give it away. I've been riding my whole life. Um, last year I went, uh, did the Blue Ridge Parkway with three people I did not know three years ago. But all and hot, here I all... am, Kamloops, riding home with three people, or two people I did not know three years ago. So it just opens up all the windows. You find the people that you got stuff in common with, and everybody's got a bike, so that's the first thing. You know, I haven't uh, met anybody really I, I don't like. There was originally a 1988 Heritage that carried this paint for 18 years. Unfortunately, it had a bad crash, so this is the reincarnation. This is Canada 2. Canada 2. But uh, this bike has uh, sort of been foremost and has represented the chapter for 20 some odd years. So when the other one went, it was pretty much important that we build Thanks. another one that carried on the tradition. Well, I mean, this is uh, just kind of one of those dreams come true. I always wanted to do the paint job, and so I had a little custom project to do up from a guy in uh, Oregon, uh, Ed Hubs of um, uh, Full Blown Customs, and he ended up doing the paint job for me. Is this your first hog rally? Yeah, I only got my license a couple of months ago. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. There you go. So you guys having fun? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that ride this morning was incredible. What an experience. I hear you're the man that uh, drove the cameraman around today. Yeah, uh, Tommy Boy and I were on that thing today. And how so. was that experience for you? Uh, it was a hoot. Better than doing the parade. I think it, it helps us uh, get out and explore the country that we live in because uh, I go to a lot of places where I've never been before because of hog. Meet people, 
helps, uh, helps us integrate with the different communities and they get to see what we're about, that we're just here to ride and have fun. Next week on Biker TV, we're back in Vancouver at the Trev Dealey Motorcycle Exhibition with Terry Ray, the Weekly Race Report with Jordan Zoak, and the Kick Butt CMDRA Drag Racing in Ashcroft, BC. Be in the Biker TV Show and Shine. East, Cape Breton Bike Fest, Sydney, Nova Scotia. West, Sturgis North, Salmon Arm, BC. Central, the Bikers Reunion, New Liskert, Ontario. Who rides Canada's coolest bike? We should have met years ago when we were younger. Live life from a storybook to fill virtue's hunger. Running wild and living free, riding high on that carousel. So my love could grow for you by the sea at Cap Paravel.